Okay, viewers, I'll just top on these batches up. Two of those batches have been sitting there for a while. The other two of them are full. I checked them, but the other two are a little bit, a little bit low. They've been sitting there for quite a while, so I'll just give them a little bit of a top up. Something from going bad. And that one there has been sitting for a while too, so that was half flat, so top it up, keep it in good nick. So when I need it, it's done. Unfortunately, we've got a bloody brown out again. Let's check what voltage we've got. Got to hold the. Uh, it will tell me. Ah, right. Tell me what voltage. Damn thing. I'm supposed to tell you the voltage, but this one is not doing it for some stupid reason. I gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, we got. Yeah, it's gone back on to normal now, but about 10 minutes ago, it was a lot less than that. Yeah, sometimes it dips down, sometimes it goes back up to normal voltage. Okay, the order just checked. This said 235 volts. This says 238. Don't know. This is supposed to be made to a pretty high standard, so either this is inaccurate or this is inaccurate. See if I can get a ton of the voltage on camera. No. Nah. 50 hertz. Run to power factor 75 watts. The battery charger is pulling. It's supposed to tell me the voltage. It did five minutes ago. It said I got two, 235 volts instead of 240. No, I won't do it now. It doesn't show me the voltage all the time for some stupid reason. But yeah, that was saying 235.0, and this is saying 238.5 at the same time. Don't know. Yeah. I hate it when there's a bloody brown out. Okay, viewers, after watching uh, one of um, Falcon 500 Skyliner's videos, he had one of these little boosters. And um, instead of using it to boost the uh, it's used to boost weak reception. This particular one can boost uh, bad digital reception as well. So if I get bad reception on the set top box, this will also boost the digital signal as well. Powered by six volt or USB. Now um, the way he did it, he used the RF out on the VCR. He used a set top box. I'm using the VCR because the um, these HD boxes don't have. Uh, this particular one anyway, it doesn't have an RF modulator. So I've got to do it through the AV inputs of the VCR. And the RF here went to the, um, uh, I think it went to the antenna side. And the uh, TV out, the booster, this is a booster output, goes to um, a little antenna, which is what's used to uh, transmit around the house. I'll just reconfigure this and we'll give it a try. I can't wait using it to boost the uh, digital reception on this. It's not too bad without it, but with it, I get about 100% reception, so before I had about 89 or 90% on some channels, so it does work on digital. Okay, have you also just got this little redneck laptop PC VGA TV converter set up just for this purpose? Don't want to change anything that uh, but, uh, infringes copyright, so I'm going to do it the safe way. That way I keep everybody happy. I'm going to play one of my own YouTube videos through the uh, um, AV source. Uh, it's modulating to the booster. There we are. That's pretty good. May need to do some adjustments, but it's not too bad. Automatic frequency uh, tracking, I think that stands for. There you go. And the sounds turned down the laptop. I'll turn the sound up and play one of my YouTube videos, and I'll move this TV into another room, and look can watch my own content on my own TV station, on my own TV, and my own video. Alright, I'll get set up, and we'll see what happens. Interesting. I'm on TV. <laughs> Back in the good old days. I right, put that on full screen and I'll shift the uh, TV into another room.
Oh, look at that. Let's shift this TV into another room and see what happens. Here we are. No antenna. Not too bad at all. Let's plug an antenna into this thing and see what happens. Okay, well, yeah, I am on my own TV and my own video, eh? I can bloody see it, can I? Push, push, push. Mm. Okay, viewers. I'll just set this up and we'll... Circuit board. Yeah, it's only got a range of a few feet, this uh, little tra transmitter, but it's not too bad at all. Okay, viewers. Let's set the antenna up. Let's give it a go on the microwave. <laughs> Fire, you know? There you go. Perfect. Three, two, one. There we are. I'm on TV, viewers. Oh, plasma. Well, Not too bad at all. There you go. Redneck DTV. Uh, whatever you want to transmit on the analog UHF because the, v the VCR is modulating to UHF. So if I had a bunch of these little uh, boosters. I could plug in different various sources, maybe a bunch of set-top boxes on different channels and I can uh, tune each of, each and individual one into each of these channels here and I can still use this like the old days. Welcome to uh, VHF, you can, modulate, you, you can modulate in VHF, I think some set-top boxes can. Some have a setting that you think you can change, so, so you can modulate in VHF if you want. For um, much older, old black and white TVs with VHF only, so if you got an old VCR of um, good AV inputs, or some VCRs, I think this one here can go on VHF as well, I'm not too sure. So you can set it to VHF and you can use that frequency for your old TVs, your pre-UHF um, ones. Okay, there you go. AFT, that's your tune. When you tune it, you get better reception. I think that's automatic frequency tuning or something like that it stands for. There we are. Not bad. Adjust the antenna a bit. There you go. I can really live the good old days. How cool calls that? And not in finished copyright, because it's my own video. I'll get this thing untangled. We'll just shift it around the room. Good suction cups. Here we are. Cool. They're all nostalgic. There's cheap TV, PC to TV converters. The focus isn't focus isn't too good, but for experimental things like this, it saves me having to burn my videos onto a DVD and just waste DVDs all the time. It's easy to do it this way. It's all live. No editing uh, to put on DVD, it's just easy to do it this way. I didn't pay very much on a modulator at all, so, or a converter. But there you are. Look that stuff in there. Redneck, DT, uh, Redneck TV transmission. Wireless TV transmission. No expensive yeah, HDMI or yeah, AV yeah, senders, yeah. just do it the old fashioned way. That was a bit of a failed experiment at first. I was supposed to put something in there. Here are viewers. Like a bit of steel wall. I'll disconnect the antenna. Or a little bit of water and put it in there and it goes bang. Because it's so just the uh see what the actual resin itself would do. The laptop seems to be freezing a bit for some reason. The lid's got a little bit. Don't know why it's still on that. Hopefully this thing goes pop. There you are, I'm just using this off a laptop as the uh, source. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.